Hey everybody, this is Rafi at Zurb, and in this video we're going to cover the pagination component in Foundation. So, pagination is a sub-navigation pattern found in Foundation, and it helps you create something like this. You've seen this before on a lot of data-driven sites or, or in search results, other places like that. Um, it gives users a way to skip ahead to certain pages or um, remember what page they found something on or get back to a specific page. So this is a very desirable um, way to you know, set up your pages or your search results or a listing of products and other things like that. So let's hop over to an example. I'm gonna show you around the code a little bit and then I also want to uh, show you some of the modifications that you can do. So it all starts with a UL with a class of pagination. So there's a lot of accessibility attributes here that I want to cover. So uh, let's go through those step by step. So let's hop over to an example and take a look at some of the markup here. So this is our example here. You could see that when we hover over um, something that is disabled, uh, that it actually shows us that. Um, so it's the not allowed um, cursor type. And then we also have an active class or a current um, uh, page, uh, which I'll show you here in a moment. And then when you hover over these available uh, links, you can um, see a little hover effect there. So this all starts with a UL with a class of pagination. So uh, that's what just creates the component. And then it's really a list of LIs and then anchor tags to certain pages. There's a lot of um, accessibility markup here, so I want to explain that so you know what it does. The role of navigation, uh, this tells a screen reader what type of component um, it's landed on. And really this is important for somebody who is visually impaired. They're using a screen reader and a keyboard to navigate the website. The screen reader then can report to the user what type of um, component they have landed on, what type of interaction they're going to expect. ARIA label is something that the screen reader will actually read out loud, so it might read out pagination. You can change this text to anything, so if you think uh, page navigation is a little bit more descriptive, you could do that, um, or whatever is more descriptive to the user in your use case. Then we have a couple other classes here. so. Pagination previous, that's here, and pagination next, so that's over here at the end. If I get rid of these classes, you can see that that actually hides the arrows. So that's a really quick and easy way to show or hide the arrows. Now if you want to change the arrows, that is the class that you're going to target to change the arrows. So they're using a uh, like before or after pseudo element, so you can actually target those and, uh, and then change the content inside. So there's a class of disabled that you can use as needed. This class, what it does is it actually uh, disables the uh, pagination section. So if you add the disabled class, what this is going to do is, um, put this, uh, change the cursor, so it's the not allowed cursor, and it's also going to uh, make the color gray um, here. So if you have a disabled um, list item, that would be used for, let's say in this case, you're on page one, there's no pages to go back to, uh, so that why that's why previous is actually disabled. Um, so that would be one use case for that. And of course, there'd be no anchor tag in here, so that way um, there's no clicks to another page. Another way you could do that is prevent default, but um, this, is, this is an easy way if you just remove the uh, anchor tag there. Now, the, the text here, you can choose to have the text or remove the text um, for like previous and next. So that's really up to you. That's just a stylistic um, change that you can have there. It's just a little bit more contextual to have the, the text there, so that's why it's in there by default. And then uh, span with a class of show for screen reader. 
So this is something uh, show for SR will actually show a screen reader, but it'll hide it visually. So you can see that you can't see the word page here, but when a screen reader lands on it, it'll uh, actually say previous page, which is just a little bit more descriptive. And then uh, the class of current, that's what controls this um, blue uh, outline on one of these list items. So if I actually change it to a different one here, you can see that it's now going to change to that one. So it's a, uh, so you can change that. And then typically if you do have a class of uh, current, you wouldn't have an anchor tag uh, there. And the reason for that is because you're already on that page, there's nowhere to click to. So um, that's typically the use case. Uh, there you would have the class of current and then remove the anchor tag. So if you're putting this on multiple pages, you'd be uh, changing that current class and changing the anchor tag there for each one. Now there's also an ellipsis class available. This is gonna create an ellipsis. So it's uh, again using a uh, before pseudo element to create the ellipsis. You don't have to use this. This is just to denote that there's a lot of pages in between and allows your users to jump ahead if needed. So that's up to you. You can opt out of that and just keep going one, two, three, four, five, whatever, however many you need to fit. Uh, another important thing is these ARIA labels for each page. Um, so it, it calls out what the page number is. So that's, that's important. And another thing I wanna point out too is that this component is responsive. So let me change the screen here so you can see that. So when I'm on a small screen, you can see that it turns into a simple pager, which is nice because you might run out of room anyways and so now we're just a simple uh, two-link pager. You can uh, override this in the CSS or in the SAS version, it's uh, just one variable to change. And um, also, interestingly, you can make this centered by adding the text-center class. Because this menu is display inline block, the text-center class that you can use on any kind of text works on this uh, pagination as well to center it inside your page. And then on mobile and larger screens, you're gonna be uh, centered. So that's the pagination in foundation. If you wanna take a look at the SAS reference, you can see all the variables that you can adjust uh, there to change the styles of that, including the pagination mobile items, one that I mentioned if you don't want it to hide the pagination items on mobile, then you can switch this to uh, true in that case. So this is just one of the components in foundation. We teach about all the components in foundation in our intro to foundation class it is the fastest way to learn. So I'll put the link below, make sure to check that out. And this is Rafi from the foundation team signing off.